All right, so I already put the battery in, but it's not connected. Um, all I did was put this down here. And uh, now I'm going to fill up engine oil. Uh, I'm going to put this right there. Hold on. You didn't go in right. It is the same design, but doesn't want to go in. Yeah. Fantastic. Okay, as I was going to do, it goes goes on like that, so it rotates to the right. It should be able to do the same thing. That's stupid. Oh well, as long as when I put the oil down, if it doesn't leak, we're good. Okay. Now this engine takes zero W twenty. If you don't believe me, there it is on the cap. Zero W twenty. And I think it's like 4.2. Let me check real quick. Uh, yeah, 4.2 quarts. Uh, so I'm gonna put. I'm going to put four. Uh, four quarts first, and then easy peasy we put the last point two of a quart. This oil is so light. It feels like if it were water. From how light this thing is. Put it on this thing. Okay, so that's exactly 
one quart left. I would say that's about 0.2. Yeah. Oil is in. Now here's the thing. I gotta get the key fob because this car will go off. The alarm of this car will go off. Uh, maybe, maybe not. Uh, the moment I plug it in. Uh, so yeah. Okay. Let me take it off of this back here. I'm just bye bye. I'm not gonna plug in, uh, tie down everything either. Um, again, I'm just gonna. I just want to see if it turns on and stays on. This is my goal. The only thing I haven't put in is coolant. Only thing I haven't put in. Wow, this cap is so hard. Hey, pretty good seal. So I'm gonna put some coolant down that way. Um, before I do anything else. Uh, just a little. It was just about to that line when when I had to drain the uh, the coolant, when I removed this line, that's about how how full it was. So cap it back up again. It probably lost more than that amount of coolant, but you know. Okay, here goes the moment of the alarm going off or most likely going off if it doesn't go off man I'm gonna be so pissed here we go I got my hand ready ready no no <laughs> watch it go off when I open the door Got my hand ready on it. This thing is making me look bad. <laughs> this thing is making me look bad. And everything works. Ah. Okay. This thing is making me look bad. <laughs> there. That's that's another thing. It likes to lock itself up for some reason. Automatically, I, I hate that feature. Okay, gonna tighten that up so that way it doesn't look doesn't lose any connection to the battery. I'm not gonna over tighten it. 
no no need for that okay so moment of truth let's see if this little boy is gonna start or not all right here I'm gonna leave the key right here that can stay there No. He doesn't want to stop. It doesn't want to start. Uh. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay. It's it feels bad. I'm gonna I'm not even gonna touch the gas pedal. Well, I don't see any fuel leaking anywhere. Injectors are fine. No check engine light either. Well, I mean, it's too early because I just put the battery in. Sounds good, sounds normal. Uh, it's got a soft limiter, I think. Yeah, it's got a it's got a limiter. 
4,000 RPM limiter. Oh. I'm pretty sure if Chevy would have done this right, this would be a fun engine to have. A fun little car to have around. Okay. All right, guys. So that's it. This is it for now. I'm gonna go ahead later and bleed the system. I haven't bled it. Um, but I do need to do that. Um, yeah, so I'll do that later. Um, but for now, that's it. If you like this uh, series of videos, um, please hit that thumbs up button on each one if you want to. If you want to. Um, but definitely, if you did enjoy this, you find this beneficial to you. Um, and helpful for your next repair or whenever you see one of these cars in your driveway or in your garage then please leave that thumbs up button and subscribe subscribe if you haven't subscribed please that's definitely going to help me out and um there's more to come more more things to be coming and um yeah but thank you thank you for watching the video and i'll see you in the future